John Paul G. Capulong from Bachelor of Secondary Education, Major in English. Magna Cum Laude and the recipient of Best Entering Award, Service Award and Journalism Award will now give his words of gratitude. As we express our gratitude, we must not forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. A famous quotation taken from John F. Kennedy. My due respect to our competitive and dynamic president and CEO, Mrs. Erlinda and Vendia Nam, to her better half, the Vice President for Operations, Engineer Adriel Verandia, to Mr. John Yulialio Nepomucino Apiris II, Vice President for External Affairs, sir, to our handsome and very hardworking Vice President for Internal Affairs and the Student Affairs and Services Coordinator, Mr. Joe Marie Enriquez, sir, to our distinguished board members, to our research speaker, Attorney Bert Padis. To retired Police Captain Oscar Cabacha, Dean of Criminology Department. To Mrs. April Barasso, Dean of Business Administration and Tourism Management Department, ma'am. To our very loving mother, the Dean of Teacher Education Department, Dr. Cecilia R. Avellana. To the faculty and staff of the Santa Nino College of Vermont, Incorporated. Loving parents, fellow graduates, Friends, ladies and gentlemen, good day. It was last August 10, 2018, when I first stood up in this very stage. I was here to represent the Bachelor of Secondary Education major in English. I was a little bit apprehensive at the time, overthinking that people might make fun about me or discriminate me but I never lose my confidence. I always bear in my mind this very own principle, and I quote, I will persist until I succeed. I was once asked, why Santa Nina College of Vermont? Why not enter a university? Frankly speaking, taking this major was not my first choice. I was once a hopeful, fresh graduate one of the pioneers of the K-12 program, who was here to take a Bachelor of Secondary Education major in mathematics. Graduating with high honors made me overdo my confidence that I was not able to land the limited slot of the supposed major that I wanted to take. I even planned to quit, but quitting is not in my vocabulary. I have realized that looking for the value of X is insignificant because he is not coming back, so don't ask why. <laughs> Instead of math, I pursued English, where it was tense when, past, when the past, present, and the future walked together. So, nagdungan-dungan. Furthermore, Santo Nino College of Vermont Incorporated opened its door and accepted me without hesitation. Ladies and gentlemen, I am deeply honored having been given the opportunity to speak on behalf of Batch 2022, who are indeed delighted together in this momentous commencement of gratitude, success, and victory. Our journey was full of bumps and roughs along the highways and byways. Though we became stagnant for a long time, but we pushed through the limits. Time has even brought us to create boundaries and distance ourselves from our loved ones because of the life-threatening pandemic. We were distraught and in pain, but we never lose our vision. We fought, stumbled, and fall, but we stood up in hopes that the end point of this suffering is a victory. This commencement is not only ours, 
but also the achievement of the people who made enormous efforts, contributed their expertise, share their time, and find ways to make the bumper road ahead of us even. As a what they say, education is the best armor in life that in life where this is the only thing that one can take away from us. That is the only thing that we can give to our fruits of love sooner or later. Moreover, I, I am adapted with this very humble abode. Thank you so much, Santa Nina College of Vermont, for opening your doors that enabled us to reach our full potential and aspirations in life for honing our skills and talents, and for offering such competitive instructors who enlightened our burning hearts. Thank you also for giving me the opportunity to host in a big stage, and that was in the Superdome during the acquaintance party 2019. My deepest respect, gratitude, and congratulations to Mom Ellen, for making the journey of these pioneers of the K-12 program a successful one. Though daghan ka yung ko ano mga challenges still, you were still there, ma'am. Thank you so much. Your ability to lead the school and your power has put everything to a right track. To our nearest deans, especially to Ma'am Cecil, Words are not enough to show how much we are grateful having you as a mother, our mother, our mentor. Your standards of teaching have made us unravel and draw our true potentials. Thank you for all the stories and the motherly advice. You are indeed an epitome of success. Thank you so much, ma'am. We would also like to extend our heartfelt gratitude to our teachers who have nurtured, shaped, and molded, molded our minds. We thank you for instilling good values within us because without those values, not much knowledge, not much knowledge and skills can be gained. We found a mother, father, brother, sister, and a friend in you. To the admin, Mam Ja, Mam Melz, Mam Veron, Sir Alfil, Sir Nilbert, to Mam Cherry, katapusan na ba? To Mam Misa, Mam Lovely, Mam Tata, Mam Rose, Mam Mikai, Mam Chai, Sir Mark, Mam Miki, Mam Helen, Mam Ronelia, Mam Pearl, Mam Geraldine, Mam Gina, Mam Thelma, Mam Adam, Sir Max, Mam Yang, Sir Fat, Sir Mashar, and to all the entire faculty of the Saturday New College of Vermont. Thank you so much and sorry kung sabaan ko kaayo. To Ate Ipin and Kuya Siksig, thank you for maintaining the, the cleanliness of the campus. To Kuya Ramil, have a safe trip always. To Kuya and Ate Guard, thank you for keeping the peace and order of the school. Amo na ipabilin si Chiu Guard. Souvenir na lang nimo. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank our late program director, Ma'am Nelia Mancera. Though you are now no longer here with us, we will always treasure everything you have taught us. I will always keep your last message to us, and I quote, <laughs> Extend my regards to you, mga classmates. Paniguro mo nga makagraduate. Love you all. In this very message of yours, you have shown how you loved us. Thank you so much, ma'am. To Dr. Teresita Togonon, our former Dean of Teacher Education Department, for continuously checking our progress. To Ma'am Annaline, thank you so much for everything. It was an honor being your student assistant. I was so blessed to have you in my journey because aside from being my sponsor, you are also my number one fan. You are always there willing to extend your heart and whenever I need the most. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. 
My accounts here in the Santa Nina College of Vermont has never been a problem since I was lucky enough to be granted with a 50% discount for my tuition. Thank you so much, Santa Nina College of Vermont, for granting that that discount. I am also deeply grateful to the Commission on Higher Education, UNIFAST, for choosing me as one of the lucky grantees of the tertiary education subsidy. Through the subsidy, I was able to buy and provide my academic needs. To the Municipality of Kapuokan for granting my application for the ERIC Scholarship Program, this has been a big help to my daily necessities and allowance. Thank you so much. Truly the people around us are our inspirations in life, especially our dearest family. This is the right time when we can prove to our parents that all their sacrifices are not put in vain. They toiled under the sun and rain. They have given their all. I know that words are not enough to show how grateful and thankful we are. Atong hatagan o makap, atong hatagan o makabungo ng pakpak ang atong pamilya o ginikanan for all their sacrifices. Thank you so much for everything. To my mama and papa, I wouldn't be here without you. Kahit ba ako man ko nga, lisod sa ayaw ng atong kahintang. And you also had a hard time in providing my allowance, but you were always there, supporting my endeavors and suffice our family's needs. I dedicate this medal to you both. Pa? Asa ko papa nga guapo? Pa? Shout out sa akong papa? Pa na? Ayaw pertago pa. Pa, thank you for accepting me. Though people around us turn their judgments and predicaments on Kuya and I for being gays, but you have showed them that we are not taboos in the society, rather gifts that are worthy to be accepted, appreciated, loved, and respected. Ma? You are the very reason why I stood out among these 253 graduates. I have been persistent enough in not settling for less because you believed that I have more and I can be more. To Ate Jove, my number one basher, thank you for all the critics and corrections and for all the sisterly advice. I hope you will also make it next year. I challenge you, Ate. To Ate Juna and Kuya Nico, eh? thank you so much for taking the long ride and extending your vacation to celebrate this victory. Thank you so much. To Kuya Bobet, your achievements have motivated me to also persist in my academics. Though it pressured me a lot, you were always there to believe in my abilities. To Joje, thank you for allowing me to a better kuya. Nahimogit ko nga mani pakiyaw tungod ni mo. To my lola, aunts, and uncles, salamat po sa tanang tabang. To Auntie Juliet, bisag nagliso nilang kahimtang mo sikreto for goodness siya ngatag pang dagdag sa akong alawas. Thank you so much, Auntie Juliet. To Auntie Dodet, for the weekly rice sponsorship. Bisag mapilaw ka sa tungod sa ako, ah, salamat kayo. To Auntie Joy, sa akong sponsor sa load para sa online class, isa lang ka-message niya, I love you Auntie Joy, monotify na yun ang auto-load max kay nasendang load. Sa amo po silingan, salamat sa inyong wifi. Bisag ako lang ang makahurot sa inyong MB tungod sa inyong kamaayo na ka-survive ko sa online class. To my fellow graduates, the long ride, sleepless nights, tiring sessions, choppy discussions, and decent classes end here. I know some of you here are on the verge of happiness, kay at last, we are here wearing the best outfit of all. Frustrated at some point, 
kay nakadaghan na ako ya bang atong mga classmates o niya ikaw yung tao dakilang uga. <laughs> But despite the shortcomings, we are still here. So let us applaud ourselves for making it this far. Ato pakpakang ang ato mga kaugalingon. Okay. To our dear friends and schoolmates who have supported and helped us every time in both the impairment and happiness, we say thanks for all you have nicely done and for more to be done. Shout out the eyes at the USG fab. Ato pakpaka ng ako USG fam. Thank you so much. To my classmates, I may be a thorn among the roses. But I strived harder to grow a bud. Tonorali, Janice, Jonah, Jennifer, Glenda, Kath, Ati March, Genesis, Pam, Margie, Madi Angel, Aika, Annaline, Daisy, Ati Evangeline, Ivy, Ati Jane, Ati Sheila, Jess, Ati Israel, and Groveling. At last, this is the moment that we have been waiting for. Graduate, Magyuta. Salamat sa tanang memories, mga kahiblad, stress, and funny moments with you. We will always be the section of Marites Society of the Philippines. I love you all. I love you, mga madi. To the special person who is here to celebrate this victory with me, thank you so much for traveling afar and for sharing your time and efforts just to be here. Love, love you po. Sana po. And above all, we are grateful for we have achieved success. Our accomplishments as students is a result brought about by the efforts and persistence with the help of our <laughs> Almighty God. So ato yung hatagtanan ang ato pasalamat sa atong ginoo. Ladies and gentlemen, before I end my speech, let me disclose a story of this young dreamer in front of you. Maybe some of you here would say or have said that, Kaswerte uy, sana all honor kay sip-sip man. Di katahuman kay wak may kwarta and worse. Bayad raman na siya. Before you give my verdict, let me tell you this. I was a houseboy in exchange of food and accommodation back when I entered my freshman years. I became a student assistant, an editor-in-chief of the school's publication, an encoder of the school, a municipal scholar, a TES grantee, a vendor, salamat sa ako mga customer dira, and a part-time host, usahay lao o usahay panahobo. I have lots of experiences and I struggled a lot with this journey. But God is good because He has given me different instrumentalities in turning hardships into victory. May this story of mine be a source of inspiration for all of us. My journey was monochromatic, but there are lots of people that will give you worth and color your world. I am a living corroboration that we are not alone in this journey. I am here in front of you because of the great people behind me. Paolo Kolo once said, if you are brave to say goodbye, life will reward you with a new hello. As we bid farewell to everyone, let our memories stay forever. May this day, July 2nd of the year of the Lord, 2022, marks a history that these 253 graduates of Batch 2022 swear to uphold service, nationalism, and commitment. My fellow graduates, we raised our case for we land the shore of success. This is John Paul Gabotero Cabolong, Bachelor of Secondary Education, Major in English, Batch 2022, Magna Cum Laude. Thank you and to God be all the glory.
Thank you so much for those words of gratitude. Once again, let's give it up for Temple Kapilong Magna Kumaude.